Hey everyone, in this step-by-step -step After Effects tutorial, we will learn how powerful motion paths are and how to use them for making dynamic movement using only two keyframes. We will learn how to turn on motion path and curves. This is a beginner friendly tutorial, so with basic knowledge of After Effects, you can follow along. Alright, let's roll the intro. Thanks to Envato Elements for supporting this video. Visit Envato Elements and download unlimited After Effects templates, fonts and sound effects. Check the first link in the description. Alright, right inside the After Effects, we have this composition. As you can see, the particles are moving in different direction. We are using just two keyframes for making this dynamic movement. Also, we are not using any script or expression for making this dynamic animation. Let's see how I made it. First, I am going to hide these two compositions and we will start working from the beginning. Now go to the tools and select the ellipse tool. Please note, my stroke is set to none and my fill is set to a solid color. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and start creating a circle like this. As you can see, there is no animation applied to this layer. So let's add one. First, I am going to rename this layer as the dot red. Then press P to open the position. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then add keyframe on the position. Then grab the move tool and place this circle right here. Then go to the 10 second duration and place the dot right at this position. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. The dot is moving in just one direction. Let's see how can we make it dynamic. I'm going to place the second keyframe on 6 second so that the animation will be faster and we will save some time. Not bad. So there are two ways for making it dynamic. First press R for the rotation. Make sure you are at the first frame and add keyframe on the rotation. Then press U to reveal all keyframes. Go to the end keyframe position and change the first rotation value to 1 so that it will take full rotation between these keyframes. Right now, I am not able to see any changes here. Let's hide this outline for now. You can press Ctrl or Command Shift H on your keyboard for hiding the outline. Now press A for the anchor point and change the Y anchor point value to a different one. Let me use value to negative 70 and this is how it looks now. It is looking dynamic but still the particle is going in one direction. Let's make it perfect. So go to the end keyframe position, then select your layer and place this particle right above the frame. I am using the shift plus up arrow key on my keyboard for moving it in this direction. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. Not bad. Let's move to the next step. Now we need to turn on the motion path for this layer. So go to the file and then preference. Then choose display. A new window will appear. In this window, choose motion path to all keyframes and then hit OK. It will turn on the motion path but still we are not able to see it. For making it visible, press Ctrl or Command Shift plus H key on your keyboard and you will be able to see the motion path. Perfect. Don't worry, this motion path will not be appear on your final composition. It is showing in this project only. Now zoom out a bit and if you select any of the anchor point, you will see that we are getting these handles. Let me select this one and now I can adjust this curve by dragging these handles. Make it fit 100% and check the animation and see the movement is dynamic. It is moving in a different direction. You can select both keyframes and bring them at your desired place. Let's go to this position and press N for marking the end area work. Great. Let's add one more element. Now go to the tools and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen and start typing your text. I am typing this plus. Eject from the typing box. And then grab the move tool and change the color of your text layer. Let's keep this yellow for now and hit ok. Now place this text layer right at this bottom. Again go to the first frame and then press P to open position. Add keyframe on it. Now go to the end keyframe and change the position value to a higher number. Something like this. Now I am also hiding this bottom layer so that we can focus on it only. This is the linear animation, not interesting at all. Grab the motion path and change the curves to something like this. Perfect. You can play with the curves according to your need. You can simply adjust it or do any curve you want. Perfect. If you select this layer, you can see that it is moving with the motion path which we were looking for. 
If you make any change to this motion path, it will move accordingly. Let's make something like this and it is following the motion path as well. Let's add some rotation. So select this text layer and press R to open rotation. Go to the first frame and add keyframe on the rotation. Then go to the last keyframe and change the rotation value to 2. Also open anchor point and change the Y anchor point value to a different one. Something like this. If you check the animation, we have a different kind of animation. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck and peace.